basically what we looked at is whether the past temperature coherence is similar to, to what we see now. So the global warming has been truly global, and we want to know if in the past is that has that been the case. And so what we found is that it hasn't, that periods of warm and cold were regional or continental in scale, but they weren't truly global in scale. So, And we were focusing on long-term periods of warming, um, not necessarily the short-term heat waves uh, like Europe is, is obviously experiencing right now, but really long-term periods were un under which like global warming is a classic example. And just describe to us how you came uh, to find all of this, because you, you used uh, some, some patterns, some data analysis that involved reconstructing temperature patterns over the last 2,000 years. How accurate are those reconstructions? Um, well, we certainly, we use the best data that's available. Uh, it's, they're obviously not thermometers going back 2,000 years. And so we've had to rely on uh, natural archives of what climate's been like in the past, such as tree rings and information and, and layers of ice and corals and, and other uh, sources. And so we've used that data to infer what past global climate has been like. Um, so again, they're not thermometers, but they're the best data that we have. OK. Uh, do you think this might be the evidence that finally might put to bed the argument that humans are not behind uh, climate change? Um, I think this, this represents sort of a triple underlining of the fact that humans have uh, caused global warming and what we're experiencing is really unique. Um, so a final word, I probably not, um, but uh, I hope it has some positive impact in this debate.